Yes, for many years. This is like the love of my life. I love the arena. I love the people that work in the arena with me. They're the backbone of the rodeo every year and have been for many years. Um, I'm so dedicated to the Prump Rodeo and the people that I work with that I drove from Tempe, Arizona to volunteer. How many years were you here in Prump? I was here for 14 years. Mm -hmm. And helped to uh, kind of establish this uh, McCullough Arena and get everything going. What do you do as your position here? I am actually the stripping chute boss. Um, I used to do the cowboy chuck wagon when we had our big PRCA rodeo. Mm -hmm. And as everybody knows, we don't have the PRCA rodeo anymore, so I get out of that assignment. Mm -hmm. So all I get to do is go back and work with the Bronx and the Bulls and have an awesome time and keep my crew safe. and. That's what I do. A unique position because you're a female. Tell me about the, the statistics of how many females are in this position. I'm it. That's it. I am the only woman stripping shoot boss in the PRCA, IPRA rodeo industry across the whole United States. Um, I'm actually very humbled by this. I'm in an upcoming book. Um, as um, the only woman stripping shoot boss and for my love of rodeo the name of the book is going to be Bronx Bulls and Buckles by Stephen Baquet. It'll be out in the next couple months so you're going to have to buy a copy. And this book is going to be sold everywhere so of course I'm sure you can buy it on Amazon and everything. So you're going to tell a little bit about your life? Well it's been a long one. <laughs> from the gray hair you can tell. Just I just was born loving horses and my family in Utah they started my mother is from Salina Utah my family started the Salina Utah rodeo they still participate and help run it today mm -hmm. and I've just loved rodeo and horses and cows since I was a little girl I was discouraged by my parents because in those days girls didn't do this mm -hmm. and it just actually happened by accident mm -hmm. um, I was back there. You couldn't keep me out from behind the chutes. Mm -hmm. I was so little, nobody could see me anyway. And it just all started when I was very young.